Hi, I'm Reverend Tom Kearns, and welcome to 333 Magic 9, your astrology channel. May is always a beautiful month, and this May, there's lots of excitement in the air, and here's what it means for your sign. The month begins with the Sun in Taurus and the Moon in Sagittarius. Scorpio, the month begins with a practical and happy Sun-Moon combination that connects your seventh house of partners and your second house of resources. Now, this is a great time to get on the same page as your partners. Mutual respect and support will bring a new dynamic energy to important projects bringing success your way. This will help enhance your ability to increase your resources and money. <laughs> Just remember to invest for emotional and material security. Mercury squares Pluto on May 7th. Scorpio, Pluto retrograde in your third house of the mind <laughs> compels you to examine the way you gain and assimilate knowledge. Understand how you learn and what catches your intellectual interest and focus on it. The square to Mercury in your sixth house of daily routines demands that you take care with your energy and your nerves. You can't be effective when you're confused or sick. Now, this can be extremely as important for there's a Sun-Jupiter opposition on the 8th, which will have a tendency to blow miscommunications and misunderstandings way out of proportion, and you don't want that. Uranus enters Taurus on May 15th. Scorpio, Uranus changing signs can be groundbreaking or disruptive. <laughs> and here's what it means for your sign. You can expect the unexpected as Uranus enters your seventh house of partners. If you've been bored with your relationships, new challenges and opportunities can spice up your life. You can be illuminated by individualistic energy. Try new things with your partners and listen to their crazy ideas since dull and boring won't do anymore. The cameras are rolling, the lights are shining, so let the action begin. You may find yourself on center stage. Jupiter trines Neptune May 25th. Scorpio, Jupiter going retrograde in your first house of personality suggests that you redrew any plans or ideas for expansion in the area of personal expression. You may want more success and power, but you should consider how you hope to achieve your success. Now, his trying to Neptune in the fifth house of pleasure can bring many delightful experiences. You'll be inspired and creative, so listen to your dreams. Romance and sensuality are increased, but don't get trapped by indulgence. Express yourself with the gentleness of power. These predictions are based on your sun sign. If you'd like more accurate predictions based on your time, date, and place of birth, I would suggest you go to my website, professorastrology.com, to the readings page where you can order a transit chart which will tell you exactly what's coming for you for the next 12 months. I'd like to thank you for watching. I'd like to thank you for listening. I hope you will share these videos with your friends because they're free. <laughs> I hope you have a very good month. Thanks again.